Hi, welcome to John's Workshop. This is part 11 of my Ferrari Daytona SP3 build. Last time, finished off this additional framing and added some more framing on the sides and the back here. So let's get into more of that. Said we have more framing to add, I believe. So we have this red beam. Some pins going there. Uh, no, two more. May hook up there. Okay, now we have these uh, pieces. These ones have to go on here get the right ones because I have screwed that up before on the McLaren and pins okay L beams This is going to be here. Okay, like that. And then these axles go in. The axle holes back here. Oh, wait a second. We're going to a different spot. Okay, they go here. They go like that. Like so. Oh, now we're getting that. That's going on the back again here. Okay, we have all of this stuff here, and then we have these are sticking up and go into those. Okay, that's how it goes. Goes on top of those pins. Okay, and that. Like so. Okay, next part here, we got this other frame. And some pins, and four pins move into this. that wrong. Okay. Now I have a nine beam. I'm gonna do this two times. So we got the ball joints. These and in beam connectors and just a pin. Do that again. The pin and beam connector and the pin. Okay, and then those go on top like that. Okay, now we take the, one of we got two, okay, we got two of these, and we put the pin and beam on it, twice. Two of these gray 
small angle. One goes this way, and one goes the other way. Like that, and then that hooks up. Oh, it goes on the inside, inside of the frame. It's kind of interesting, just interesting way to kind of solidify that. And now we have two of these pieces with the axle pin. And the beams, they go on the axle side. And then they go on the inside as well. Into those, like that. Now it's supposed to be like this, and that goes on the back here. Okay, that's strong enough there. So it slides in between those uh, connectors we put in before. But, and we gotta slide the axles through. So we gotta take this axle and slide it through that all the way through and same on the other side here okay and now that's down there and I'm pretty sure we're going to slide those red pins through those points there and that is all connected now that's interesting. That's going to be the probably the mounting for the rear bumper. Okay, now we're making something with uh, these red panels. Okay. Let's get that pin in there. And then we have four long blue pins. Nine beam goes right on the end of the nine beam. And we have two of these, or one of these. Pin on beams and two pins on the inside here. And then a small frame with two pin on beams facing in different directions. Then that connects like that, where that, that connects to that blue pin. Is that all good? I think that's all good. Now these angled half beams. Hook these together. Axle pin on the other side. And then that Okay, we're on this side. Uh, we're supposed to, we're supposed to, we're supposed to go upside down. And then what's going on with this? This goes on the inside of the frame. Okay. Like so. We have two black pins here. Okay, now we have this uh, kind of this black axle connection piece with the axle, and then the 
the tea. So it's a red tea. Red tea goes in there. Um, some black pins and an orange pin. And that. So again, that's gonna fit on the inside of this thing. Okay, it's that's gonna push right in there. And gotta push those in. Really, it's squeezing stuff into this frame. Can I get that in there? There. Okay. Now this panel 13, not 14, need 13. And it needs to go the inside of that, like so. Okay, oh, I need the frames out of here. There's one anyway. Okay, and then that needs to face like so. And hook in. Like this, or no, on this side. Is that right? I think so. Okay, and then a blue pin, long blue pin here, long blue pin here, one over here. And a black pin. Where is that? That one goes up here. Okay, now once again the red red T here. And a red beam. And a black nine beam. Or it's a seven beam. It is a seven beam and it goes here. And then that connects like this on that side. So the red beam connects up to these ones, and then I need two blue pins, long blue pins, one goes here, and one goes down here. And all of that needs to go on this side. The front, no, the middle front, I guess. And we're sliding the black axle through the red beam. And that all goes together like so. And then this blue pin and we have a black pin here. Okay, those all go in there, and that one goes there. Okay. And that is hanging way up here, right? And then this blue pin slides in here. Okay. That's those. And now I have the, need two of these, and it slides over top of this. So, okay. 
Okay, there we go. So there's that right there. Okay. Now another nine beam. Okay, those go here. And that slides in beside the brown axle. Okay. Now this is an 11, two-sided beam, and that goes up top here. this over here and then that slides up and that looks in like that so that looks right it does okay and then we have two of these supposed to be like that okay so that's more like it and then that is hanging that way no the pins are going on the inside or the outside, so this has to go on like that. So that goes there, and then this black piece here is supposed to go on the back here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that's supposed to all rotate together for some reason. Reasons, it will go that way, five beam. Once again, a brown axle. Okay. And there is a red beam 
one and it goes like that and then that is supposed to hook into right up here um hmm it looks like it's going that way oh wait a second it goes over here if i am correct it goes right here A fun time getting these on. There we go, and then that slides into there. Okay. Got five of these. Okay, and then that, it's sliding underneath. How is that working? So we're here, we're back here, we're sliding underneath. Two of them are, that's sticking out. That's where we have three guys here it's, it's like that is that correct okay, the middle one doesn't have a whole part so it's like that yeah right in front of that gray piece there so that is where that goes and then we have three of these. And they need to go on top of those. Facing the, the back of that panel. We'll go through there to do something. There we go. And we have two of these. Black pin. And these half beams. And the yellow beam there. Okay. And now, now what does it show? It showed the... This goes the end connects to this. The other end of this connection, this blue pin. Okay. And that is supposed to slide into that and put the yellow axle through there. Okay, yellow axle. Let's get that through all of those. All the way through. That just needs, there we go. So that is now, now it's moving all of those things together. Okay. And we have this L beam. pieces here and then I have this there we go and that needs to go so we have this piece here it's gonna sit like 
and that. Sit right like that. Right here. And slide this orange pin through there. Okay. Now we have the little blue ones. Where are they? This with a little axle and a pin. Then this one goes this way. By one blue beam, and then we have a number 21. Goes like this, and we hook that up like that. And then a beam on, pin on beam there. Sort of like that. And pins going this way. Okay, and this thing goes on the inside here. And can I see that? Is it right there? Or is it one forward? There's this T. So that has been part 11 of my Lego Ferrari Daytona SP3 build. Uh, put together some more framing. Uh, we got this main components, this framing on this side with the pieces here as well as these panels getting put in. So if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and take it easy. Bye.